Methane is a harmful climate pollutant and a primary driver of global warming. The waste sector is responsible for about 20% of all human-caused methane emissions. Organic wastes, such as food remains, yard waste, paper, cardboard, bodily waste, and wood, break down slowly in the oxygen-starved environments found in landfills, dump sites, and wastewater systems around the world to generate methane. According to the World Bank, about 65% of the waste landfilled worldwide is organic, and projections for 2050 show that global solid waste generation could increase by over 70%. In much of the world, waste management practices and systems are poor or non-existent, which will lead to increasing emissions of short-lived climate pollutants. Fortunately, we can solve the problem of waste methane pollution through better waste management practices. To reduce methane from waste, we must focus on three key strategies. One, preventing food waste to keep usable food out of landfills, increase food security around the world, and lower upstream greenhouse gas emissions from food production. Two, diverting organic wastes from going to landfills by promoting composting, anaerobic digestion, and other organic waste treatment options. And three, improving design and engineering, operational practices, and biogas capture at landfills and wastewater facilities. Some countries have already taken action to limit waste methane. In 2005, Germany applied a ban on landfilling untreated organic waste, reducing the country's methane emissions from waste by 80%. In 2021, Chile developed a national organic waste strategy and set a goal of increasing municipal organic waste recovery from 1% to 66% by 2040 through composting and reducing food waste. Globally, we can reduce methane emissions from waste. Most of us don't think about our waste once we throw it in the bin but we have to consider the impacts it is having on our atmosphere and planet. Methane is escaping into the air right now, and we have no time to waste.